Hello everyone, this is Hugo. Um, I'd like to thank you all for what, coming over here and watching this video. Um, before I begin, I'd like to ask you guys to go to subscribe to my iMoly channel. I've been saying a whole lot on my videos, but I've been posting many kind of video of it, many kind of videos. Um, the last time I promoted a video on this channel was this video over here for the review of my me playing Nicktoons Winter Cup Racing. I'm most specifically reviewing it. Okay, well, supposedly I'm not moving any fast. <laughs> and uh, just recently, I posted another video for on um, Fourth of July, a review of the game Sox Cat Rocks to Hill. You got people, you got some of you people may not have even heard of this game before until you have seen this video. That was on me. I'll be honest with you. That was all on me. So, where am I supposed to go? This is about the biggest fail in this video, though. Uh, why are the dates for our uh, What's like... supposed to be happening here is that I'm supposed to like rearrange all this information. I thought I was just have to look at them. Apparently, I had to. <laughs> it was pretty stupid. But go ahead, go over to my. I'm only trying to watch this video and also subscribe. I'm at 10 subscribers on this channel right now. Um, I'll be very grateful if you go subscribe. I subscribe to myself, actually. Um, but anyway. Um, so today, I think we're gonna do some unfinished, have some unfinished business. We're gonna be um, doing Game Genie Corruptions on an emulator over here for Super Mario Bros. 3. Then after that, we'll do the same for Bullet Fight. I've done these months ago. They're the first two Game Genie Corruption videos I did on any real NES hardware, as you can see down there. But now we're gonna do it in an emulator, see how it is on an emulator. So, uh, so here's. I'm just gonna. Here's a quick game of Super Mario Bros. 3. No introductions really needed. So I'm big Mario now. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to be a. I'm gonna get Raccoon Mario. I don't see what problem Peter has with this game, to be honest. And, okay, so, uh, we're gonna just go ahead, and, uh, how do you, I wanna see how you pause this game, okay, pause. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, we're gonna just go ahead and put in a Game Genie code, with a little cheat seal, I, I, you just type in the Game Genie code down here, and it will, you can add it to the cheat search, so we're gonna just, just do one code right now, this one. I knew something was wrong when I realized that I only had two codes in here. Apparently this is why. So uh, with this code, it's a debug code, so you can choose whatever world you want. And if you open up your inventory, you get a whole stack of items, everything you need. So uh, I don't really have much else to say about this code, so let's just move on to the main event for this, which is cheats. This one. And it's already coming to effect. And now it's go gone. Okay. So, uh, let's just see what worlds react differently to each other. First world. Yeah, the world map's corrupted. Oh my god. It's already crazy. Ah! Oh, I beat the level! <laughs> <laughs> okay, second level. I'll be, let's put. Uh, hey, hey. Hey. Okay, I'm blocked. And I fell through the ground. That's pretty good. Uh. That's, that's very helpful. Okay, I don't think I'll be, I'll be able to progress through this game. Just a freaking second level being a butt. No. No. Whoa. Dang. Where am I? I think I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, this is weird. Uh. 
I guess I just reset. Let's do this again. I'm gonna to see if I... Okay. Oh, now I'm stuck. I can't get any items. Okay. Let's just do this one more time. This one world. Okay, let me get... Okay, we're in Game Boy mode. I'm gonna get Big Mario, and we're gonna move on to the next level. Okay, so I'll, I'm I'm on, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm on some sort of, some sort of slope. Whoa, okay, I see what's this what's going on. I'm probably in like a different part of the world. Whoa, ooh, uh, give me my. Okay. Okay, so it's sort of playing. No. I'm not going to get any fire flowers, I mean stars, because that will be very catastrophic. Oh my god. I'm dead. No. Not yet. Ugh. I can't get anywhere. Yeah, I think this is acting a little differently from when I played as some actual, like, NES thing. I don't think I'm not. I don't think I'll be able to advance any further. It's just forbidden. Oh uh, no! I don't know what's blocking me, but I'm just not gonna be able to advance. So, how about this time? Let's just do it without getting mushroom. Let's just see how far I can get into level one without the mushroom. Oh, got a coin. Oh no. Game's foes. Yep. Alright, let's go to second world now. Second world. This whole time the game, this whole recording was in desktop mode, but whatever. Uh, oh freak, I hit an enemy. And now I can't advance the stage. Alright, let's see if I can get a mushroom. And skip this one level. What oh, killed me? I got- I think I gravitated to like the left hand part of the screen and I just died. Like that, again. Oh. Let's see, let's see if I can do a mini game. Oh. No. <laughs> oh my god. But the graphics are so freaking air piercing. Okay, second level. Or full two. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna make it this far. Oh no. Jesus Christ. I have no idea what's going on right now.
This is Maya.exe. Oh, okay. The music's sort of playing now. Okay, I think I touched that little fish, but I didn't die. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to fence any further in this freaking level. Oh, now, now I can't. <laughs> Alright. Okay, next world. Oh, never mind. Let's not go to the next world again. Oh, no dust. Okay, let's see what the pipe levels are gonna be like. Very normal by certain standards. Eh, except for that, but you know. Let's go back. But just don't touch anything, okay. So that's pretty much what World 3 is going to be like. Next. World 4. Okay, this is a big world that's going to have very little issues, because it's a big world. Oh god. Mario is flying, and now he's not. And... And that's it. <laughs> Can't advance any further. Oh, now I can, because I hit a block. Level 2. Now this level's funny because, you know, there's a fish, there's a big Bertha fish that usually comes to attack you, but it's a small fish, so it's a small Bertha for this level. Uh, Alright, I think that's enough for World 4. World 5. Let's see how this is like. Alright, that says it all. Uh, Uno, Dos, Tres, Quattro, Cinco. See how, how I, I think it's what, I think the glitches here are gonna be cool because it's World 6. Let's find out if that's the case. No. Oh! <laughs> well, that was mean. Uh... Ah, gee... What the freak is this? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it through the first level. Not because it's good to bug out or anything, but it's more because of the freaking... Okay, never mind. Let's just, let's just try skipping through this. Where am I? Ooh! Ooh! God dang it. It'd be amazing if I actually get to a castle if this thing didn't freaking freeze on me. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, both seven. How could we go wrong here? Did it speak? Okay, never mind. Let's move on to the last spell. Let's see if it is, if we can play this at all. Build eight. Okay, there's no gold glitch up that could help, oh, help me here. That's a bit of a war. I'm talking too soon. Nope. I'm still dead. Alright, uh, I think that's enough of that. Uh, we're going to move on to Balloon Fight because that Balloon Fight's pretty crazy when it comes to Game Genie Corruption. So, Balloon Fight. And we already have a cheat active, so it's going to be fun. Yep. Oh god. 
Okay. Okay, I want to I get this little bird motherfucker. Okay, it's gonna kick me to a bonus stage. Nope, not right now. Jesus Christ. I can't stop getting... Alright. Alright. Oh, now it kicks me to a bonus stage. Yeah, this is what happened when I played it on the, uh, actual, on the actual machine I had. It just kicked me to a bonus stage like this. And that's really all I have to say about the balloon fight when it comes to corrupting it with Theme Genie. It does this. And it lasts quite a long time too, so we're always going to be at rank 1. And that's it! So, uh... I hope, you, I hope you guys enjoyed this Game Genie Corruption video. I um, hope your thoughts of life have been good. Thank you for watching me here. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. And of course, go check out the iMolly channel. Which I don't have pulled up right now, but you get the idea. Yep, and that's all. Hello everyone, this is Hugo. I hope you all prepared for some ancient Pug0905 content. Um, these videos were made about 8 years ago in 2013. And the first one I'll be showing you is me wanting uh, the uh, infamous you are an idiot.org website on a um, Nintendo Wii. Um, just, you know, go to the internet browser on that thing and um, just find the website through there and this is what happens. Yeah, very anticlimactic, is it? Uh, but that's not what all of this video is about. Um, I'll, there's also a very, very old vlog I was meant to upload many, many years ago, back way back in 2013. Uh, I think uh, you're gonna be enjoying this. It's me in the city of Memphis and Tennessee. <laughs> um, it was a pretty nice trip. Um, hopefully you enjoy some of this unedited vlog content from long, long ago. And thank you for watching. Uh, it's not amazing. One, two, three. Is it going? Yes. Oh, <laughs> hi, friends. This is Helconaut 5. Now I'm, I'm in the Memphis Zoo. And look at this lion. We found. We found. <laughs> hey. Okay, go. Hi, friends. This is Helconaut 5. Um, this, is, uh, this is my trip to Memphis. Right now we're in the hotel at the pool. And that's all I wanted to, say, to show you for the zoo. Thanks for watching. For more videos. Alright. Hi, friends. This is. Her. Okay, again, friends. Um, this is the tigers. And that's all. Okay, friends. Now I'm at the. What is it called? Hmm. What's it called? Cougar. A cougar. What I, what I, call I don't know if it's a cougar or not, but this is the uh, this this mountain lion kind okay. of thing. Get over and there. And Scoot over to the window. I'll show you how close it is to you. <laughs> All right, and that's the cougar, whatever. And that's it. Okay, friends. I'm in the animals of the night room now. So, oh my god. Oh god! Ah! God! Oh my god. Are you okay?
Wait, okay. <laughs> you, you okay, that's it. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Okay. Wait. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Which baby is that giant sugar glove? I can't see anything. Oh, cute. Where is well, I mean, when your eyes are falling on the chest, it may get better. Yeah, but yeah. You might not be able to pick it up on the camera. Quiet, quiet, please. We have a bush baby that we want to turn. Please do not disturb the baby. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's only been a minute. Can I at least stop it? Okay, friends, that's the animals of the night so far. Yeah, that's cool. This heart's... Oh. Yeah. Where'd he go? Oh no, we got the mom! Hello everyone, this is Hugo. Um, I hope your July has been good. It's been good for me too. Um, if you haven't read the description of the last video I made, uh, which I think was the um, videos from the summer of 2020, I've recently moved and uh, yeah, it's, things are going to be a little different from now. So if you've seen my previous room tours, I'll link them all down in the description. But uh, they were kind of like little, not as characteristic you can tell. They were kind of small. I don't really have much in them um but with since i moved into this room it's much bigger than uh, the last two rooms we still i have a lot more opportunity to put stuff where i want it to be and i might as well show you what it looks like now so here it is my new room yeah so uh off the back of course i still have my old computer all my setup my computer setup right here it's a little cramped a little bit but uh whatever i'm um, because i have my bed Something sticking out of it. I have this little electronic section and some somewhere to put my miscellaneous items. I have a little library down there. I have my little dresser here, um, which holds stuff. I haven't really organized them yet. There's a box up there. That's a good VCR that's been kind of damaged due to v VHS mold. Oops. Uh, I'll probably get that fixed sometime soon. And there's a bit box of DVDs right there. Again, I haven't really organized a whole lot, and it kind of looks... If the moon's a little messy, <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. But uh, anyway, um, as you can tell, there's my CRT TV, and that's the LCD TV. I've used this LCD TV for months prior to this move, and uh, I very recently started using this again. Um, it's very unique. It's a unique setup for this, because, uh, of course, um, to connect this VCR over here to this TV, of course, I just had to put in a put, put in some composites and some composite inputs from the VCR right here I don't think you can see it to uh, this little splitter of course so I have more stuff to put in um, and of course I since this TV um, only uses RF doesn't do composite I use a uh, this little antenna cable to connect it to the VCR so I take a lot to do a model for this VCR and you, if you want to know how cool this can, can actually be um, I'm going to put in a VHS tape right now more specifically this thing. I'm going like, to close the little desk cover there quickly, but... Let me see if I can get a good angle. Yeah, this is good enough. This, this okay this tape's kind of shaky and flashy I think it's more due to its age I hope it's not because of something wrong with the VCR that would kind of suck but yeah I think it's just the tape I'm not too sure this tape's pretty old but um yeah um I think you can kind of tell but uh you know there's a little because this is an LCD TV you know LCDs tend to have a big, bit of a delay when it comes to uh you know, showing pictures, and of course CRT, of course, displays images more instantaneously, which is a good thing. Of course, if I had audio on these, you, 
things you could probably tell a little better of how kind of you know a bit difference of how you know audio is outputted on this TV compared to this TV on this TV of course again this um, will display audio instantaneously while this one just delays it a little bit and though I used the CRT I've been using the CRT to play some old NES games some of my old games because you know you have to input really matters when it comes to you know old games because you know you have to you want to really press the white button at the white time and you know LCDs kind of delay that a little bit so I've been using this TV to play these old games I think the LCD though if I play old VHS tapes of course it doesn't look that good it really doesn't look good I can see if you can't tell it's kind of compensating for this little delay it's having by having the video play at some kind of 60 frames per second or something not too sure, and of course you can see uh, it's kind of having tr still having trouble trying to play the tape and compared to the CRT over here. It does, it's not really showing anything too bad. There's like some kind of weird uh, little effect going on down there, you can't tell. But I think that's again due to the tape and not. But you can see anyway here. But I think as far as uh, play, playing VHS tapes on these. LCD TVs because it kind of looks a little cooler, kind of has a bit more retro vibe somewhat. I don't really know how to describe it, it's just, yeah, I think I'll just leave it at that, but uh, yeah, of course, speaking of games, I have a, my collection of games right here, and my collection of CD-ROMs, and my 3DS games I have in boxes. I'm pretty sure I lost a few stuff, like when I was moving, but oh well, and I have my old laptop over there for recording old VHS tapes. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about my new room. Uh, I think I, I still have my projector, my vinyl record player, and yeah, I don't think I have much else to say. Oh yeah, this little radio thing too. Um, of course it can play cassettes. But, but also, um, I use it to also use audio, so maybe I can use this for background noise or something. And that's it. Um, yeah, so hopefully I add more stuff to this new room. Um, I'm very excited to see what the next few coming months will hold for my channel with thanks to this room. Of course you could also go subscribe to my iMod channel. I'll be st I'm going to start making more videos for that since I've moved in here. And that's it. So uh, thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it please leave a thumbs up and if you want to see more content like this please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Happy July. Hello everyone, this is Hugo. I hope your day's been good. Uh, before I start, I'd like to ask you all to at least check out my iMolly channel, or at least also subscribe to it. I posted a new review video there on a particular hunting game I have in my CD1 collection. Um, yeah. Um, so anyway, enjoy this video while I just mess around in uh, Half-Life. Enjoy. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of... No, 
Ah, it's good. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit. <laughs> We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. Boosted the anti- It's a mouthful critical. Standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, but we Shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I didn't see you get on. City 17. You have chosen or been chosen? The urban center. This I thought I was less. What? So I mean that I elected to assume my administration here in the citadel so far. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. Were you the only ones so, on that train? Whether you were the chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relo and a relocation coupon just like everybody else.
productive cycle. Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for writing, sir. Of course, your question. <laughs> I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best? Will they ever deactivate the pressure field and let us breathe now? Allow me to address the anxieties under my Let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is this simple fact. I thought you were a cop. to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Hello everyone, this is Hugo. I hope your day's been good. Um, so before I start this video, we're just going to be on a little look at my eMac. Um, I want to promote my iMelly channel over here. <laughs> here it is. Uh, I've been posting a whole lot of videos uh, in the past week. We have Wearing Hunting Game, Cosmo Channel, and Photo Makeover, Dark Track Racing Duology, Media Close Travel Waiting Forest, and here's all the stills from the videos.
pretty cool, am I right? So, uh, if you want to go watch these, then go to my IMLA channel, there's the URL. I'll probably link it down in the description as well, but, uh, and also, subscribe and like the videos. It'll, it'll, um, it'll be really appreciated if you do. Alright, so on to my Emac. Huh. Alright, so on that note, uh, let's we'll just go ahead and power this thing on. You have the power on through the back over right here. Get the power button. You hear the sound? And... It should come on in a second. Very old Mac, give it some time. Yep, then there you go. It's kind of flashing, but that's because of I because you know you know when you record when, when you record CRT T's like this, it's gonna it's gonna tend to flicker like this. Let's see if it does the same like zoom in. Well, not too badly, but well, anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes when this is done. And here we are. Um, everything is correct. The date is correct up here. The date and time. Yeah, and uh, well, sometimes um, when I when I boot this up, sometimes I guess it's because of some kind of dead CMOS battery in here or whatever. But uh, it kind of says for a second that uh, I don't know if it's just uh, because of the computer, something wrong with the computer, or if it's just a software. But sometimes it will tell me uh, the day is wrong, like it's a date set for March something two thousand one, but it corrects itself so almost quickly after. So here it is. That's the date. Uh, let's just see what's in this computer about this Mac. 1.25 GHz power PC G4 processor, 2 GB of DDR SD RAM, which is the highest um, amount of RAM this thing can do. And uh, if you go to more info, you'll bring up the system profiler. It's the machine name is the Emac, of course. Uh, the bunch of machine models are Power Mac 6.4 and the CPU. And I can go through all this, but uh, this is one of the later Emac models. Uh, I think this is the USB 2.0. Um, EMAC, meaning that uh, the USB speeds will be very faster than if I got an earlier EMAC. And, uh, and the and the this thing, as I said, it's it's pretty much the highest it can go. So that's a good thing. It does help out a whole lot. Alright, let's just uh, check out some of the feet, um, stuff I have on this thing. Uh, you can see I have a really cool 2007 uh, uh, little background. And uh, I do have some games in here. So... Uh, games and this is all the stuff I have so I have some emulators I have mobile blast I have unreal tournament and yeah I guess I can briefly show you some of the games so here's mobile blast go It'll take forever for unreal to load and that even then well it doesn't take forever it just it's probably not too necessary and I have to have two hands but this one I can have one hand it'd be kind of dumb for me to do so but and I really like this um, display, this uh, CRT display. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's just about it, but I think it's more suited for games like this. You don't really need a whole lot of room to see everything. And let's see if I can make it. Ah, ah! God dang it! Well, that says it all. Uh, exit. I'm stuck on level 41 here. I have a few more levels to go. Anyway. That's Mobile Blast Gold. I have some other games here. I have Quake 3 and again all Emerald Tournament 4, 2004. And I have a bunch of emulators and I have a bunch of classic games. Here, well, first off, there's Jazz Jack Rabbit. Oh my god. Oh wow, I'm sorry about that. If you're an epileptic, it's kind of looking weird all of a sudden. So, apologies. But I do have Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 on here. It's a f popular 2D um, computer game. And this is the wrong version, by the way. I'm gonna have to stop. I'll get to this in a second. And there's two versions of Jack Jazz Jack Robert here. I have the classic Mac version. There we go. Hopefully that's not gonna screw your wetness or whatever. But I have Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 and the OSX version of the game. Very popular game, as I said. Um. Oh my God. There we go. I'm gonna keep it a little further for a second. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna demonstrate Classic Mac here. I just have to click up here, open up any Classic Mac apps. 
just click stock classic it'll give me a little ammo about quick time but it doesn't matter and it's gonna boot up into classic mode and I use classic mode for again like for like very old apps you know that can't natively run by itself on Echo SX you have to have a little layer of compatibility but now I can uh, open up any classic game like Prince of Persia or that's it I really um hmm, now that I think about it I don't think I have a whole lot to look at so what about we go to uh, the little classic menu go to Apple menu items and just play it with, uh, with any classic I put the calculator uh, let's go to the system settings for um, this thing uh, what is it? Control panels, appearance. I want to turn the volume so you can hear all the classic sounds. Goodness sake. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to deal with this. I don't have anything. I'm just trying to correct itself, that's why. Camera, please. I'll, well, it's gonna act like this, so apologies for the flickering, but anyway. And this is kind of bullcrap, I can't even change the uh, pattern for this because it's going to always look like this. Unless if I do download all these images and put them into a little folder for pictures, which I have, but uh, I don't see the point of this. Sound. Yeah, you have all the platinum sounds, themes. Again, not completely necessary, but... I know some boomers in the, that's watching this right now is probably started to hear all these classic Mac sounds <laughs> and that's that uh, I have some other software on here which I use to for other computer purposes I have 10 for Fox it's one of the last browsers to actually um, support a classic Mac like this I'm opening up now and I have some other software to quickly uh, I have a uh, iMovie which is a old editing software well it's still made but this is a very old version it was when HD was kind of cool to have, and uh, he was 10 for Fox. And I'm gonna go, go into our website, uh, Macintosh Repository, for instance. Macintosh Repository.org. I'm gonna go to the front page of this site. And Macintosh Garden, that's not what I wanted to go to. Let's try it again. We pause it totally. SimCity Classic. <laughs> sure thing. Okay, there we go. And it says up here, wow, you're actually browsing this website using an old Mac. And it disables uh, SSL, which is this little security encoder for websites. And uh, yeah, I, can, I can't really do very modern stuff on this because, how, you know, this is a very old computer and old new websites, new versions of websites kind of like bog down this thing and unfortunately I can't even get any flash stuff that one which is kind of stu stupid you think you can use flash stuff on this but anyway um that's 10 for Fox for you I have there's an old version of iTunes here with a green note instead of a blue note or white note or black note and I have some songs up uh, it's from luxury elites uh, world class Probably my favorite album to list on this since it's the only one, and I still like it, but uh... I'm gonna have the volume entirely up so you can hear this. Well, maybe I should turn it down a little bit so I, maybe Luxury Elite doesn't copyright me. I'm gonna turn that a visualizer, visualizer because it's the coolest thing on this Mac. For iTunes at least. Man. Ooh, man, that's very... 2000s to say the least. I think the music that plays here kind of goes along very well with this. I'll probably turn it up just a little. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's uh, iTunes on here. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of stuff on here. You know, just some games to play and uh, just some other apps. Not a whole lot, but. There you go, that's my Emac for you. I'm going to power this thing off now. And if you want to buy this, 
then uh, go for it. Uh, I actually got mine at an eBay auction for about fifty dollars. Not bad. Uh, yeah, and then that's it. <laughs> um, so thank you for watching this video. Again, you can go check out my iMolly channel. That'd be great. And uh, I'll see you around. Welcome to the SCP Game of Doom. 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 Come on. No, no crash! Welcome to the SCP Game of Doom. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm playing this again after nearly 10 years. So, this was a game, as I just said, I played it 10 years ago. And at the time, it got a very well deserved reputation for uh, not very being a very good gameplay video. But uh, I'm going to be playing the game. I think the main reason why the previous gameplay sucked back then is because I was using a very old crappy Dell Dimension computer with the Intel Pentium 4 so it went very very slow but since then I've got a much better computer um, it's able to run the game at fantastic graphics at my full resolution and full screen so that's it let's just match make and create room I'm gonna be with and wonder all right let's see I don't know what the objectives are I guess I'm just going to well, I'm around until I see an SCP somewhere. Apparently, this is this is a this is a newer version, so I think you can actually do multiplayer here. But multiplayer is for sissies that you know can't handle the scariness of this game and which is the reason why I turned down the volume here. <laughs> uh, okay, I hear it. That's a bit of a worry. Where are you? Where are you? Behind me? No, I'm okay. I'm kind of scared actually. Uh, oh great. I'm just gonna just keep at this corner. Oh, hey! No! Ah, oh, crap! I'm dead. Oh, I'm still alive. God dang it! Oh, come on! No, 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 no! Okay. I I think I have unlimited lives, so this guy's gonna. Hey, where are you? Well, which corner are you coming out of? There you are. <sighs> Alright. Oh, oh, jeez! Oh, you just... It, he's, he's freaking... He spawn killed me. What an idiot. What a jerk. Okay. Ugh. I guess playing in that old crappy Dell Dimension had advantage. Oh, great. I'm out of ammo. Okay. Okay, I'm out of ammo. I can't do anything. I'm dead. I'm just gonna die now. One. Oh, I can. I can see if that could have helped. Albeit not by much. Hi, man. I think that will be it. So, uh, <laughs> wow. To think that. To think of all the things I might have missed out on almost ten years ago with this game. Alright, so that's it. Um, check out my iMod like, channel for new videos. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, this is Hugo. Wow, I can't believe you have been doing these animal videos for five whole years. That's quite incredible, ain't it? Well, to tell you the truth, I've had very little interest in continuing these traditional blog type of end of month videos now. I don't really have that creative energy I've had five years ago for these. But you know what? Um, I might as well do a new segment of this video just for old time's sake. <laughs> New 
news this month, this August 2021. Uh, I mean, outside of the obvious news, like that Afghanistan thing, uh, the movie Free Guy has become an unexpected hit, bringing in one of the best box office successes since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking of which, uh, the percentage of Americans that have, full, that have been fully vaccinated have reached 50% late last month, and this month the percentage of Americans that have received a single dose has reached 60%, which is good news. Um, I hope those numbers will only go higher and higher. Uh, finally, a portion of the Salem Olympics happened this month after being proposed, postponed last year, but not many people seem to care as much after about the Olympics as, mu as much as they did about a particular Chris Teen Western Chandler, also known as Chris Chan or Chan by Tuckles Carlson. Uh, if you want to know why this person has been in the news, uh, before you to check out sites. Well, that was a bit of a nostalgia worse right there. Um, anyway, that is it for the news. Uh, now let's talk about the future of this channel and where these hug buck, these end of month videos are going. Um, well, if I'm, again, to be perfectly honest, I'm thinking about scaling back the videos I produce in a month. Uh, this once per week schedule is starting to weigh down on me, even though it's kind of helped me a lot with but this channel for the past few years. And I feel I need to recharge every once in a while. Um, I'm thinking about scaling back the down the amount of videos I produce in a month to two videos per month, which will likely when the end of month videos are redundant, since I likely won't have enough to discuss when it comes to the content of this channel. However, that won't mean I will stop making videos anytime soon. I've actually been way more active on my new channel. You can go subscribe to Jet. Uh, it's called I Marley. The I is the, the profile picture. Um, and I post a full range of content on that channel, mostly reviews right now, but I'll guarantee you sometime in the near future I'll post a greater variety of content on that channel. I'm actually working on something good right now, uh, but that doesn't mean I'm not done with this channel. I'm I will continue to use this channel to produce content that has always been the foundation of Hugbox TGM, tutorials, gameplays, and more. Uh, with a stronger emphasis on the former two concepts, I'm actually working on a Dead Space gameplay series right now, so check back at this channel for that. Um, anyway, that's it for me in August. Thank you all for watching these end of month videos, and I'll see you around. Welcome to the Dead Space uh, gameplay series on the Hug0905 channel. I'm Hugo. Before we start, I'd like to ask you guys to uh, go subscribe to my iMolly channel. I'm posting a ton of videos right there. And uh, yeah, just go check it out and subscribe to it. So, uh, I'm going to be starting Dead Space today. So, let's just play it. Isaac, it's me. 
I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just get out to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. How many times you watched that thing? Guess you really miss her. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. All right, everyone, we're here. It's sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. Each is seven is a gold mine, according to prospectors' reports. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelgan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're gonna need to boost the signal if their power's yes, low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you're the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tether's engaged. Automatic docking procedures are go. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track, we're gonna hit the hole. Hit the blast shields. That guidance tether's damaged. Switch to manual, now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No, we can make it inside. Corporal, I gave you an order. The field's too strong. Is everyone okay? saved our asses, Miss Daniels. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the Ishimura. Now settle down, let's get to work. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to fix. All right, let's get some extra hands from Flight Deck to help out. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right, we've still got a job to do. We're moving out. All right, so we start off in a crashed ship on route to the Ishimura, which is where we are now.
Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah? Well, there's not. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. But that security console is still live. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, get that elevator back online. Power's dead. I can't. Then we root the damn power. Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. Let's get that computer display up, Isaac. Doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. The tram system's offline. Getting around's gonna be difficult. The air seems to be flowing again. That's a start. What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. What was that? Did you hear that? I'm not sure. What the hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. All right, get me out of here. <laughs> so if you didn't catch that, we've entered in much more, and now there's a necromorph invasion. Ah! Uh, I'm doing my darndest, okay, man. Ah, crap! I'm dead. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So, that was intense. Uh, as you play this game, I'd like to let you know that uh, I've already beat this game once, so I have all the weapons I've had from my last gameplay. So, I don't think the plasma cutter, which is the first item you get, this thing over here, I don't think it's going to appear up there, but it's worth checking out. Let's see what I actually have from the last game I played. A lot of stuff. And 8,000 credits. Wouldn't hurt to have some more ammo. Hey, there's no plasma cutter. I'll get some health and some credits. Because I think I want to get the elite suit. Physics are kind of bouncing this game. Give me some ammo back, thank you. You can also like reload wire one, so that's kind of that's gonna be hard. Is there any audio logs? I think no, I don't think there's any audio logs because I've already played this game once and I've already collected audio logs, so that could be boring. Spoke too soon, I think. Oh yeah, I, d I spoke too soon. That being said, everybody listen up. They use the bench. That's how they get around the ship. Stay away from now. Get back. Get back. Isaac! Isaac! God, I can't believe you made it. Isaac. <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? More what? What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly. And half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Now, we have to get to the bridge. But first, we gotta repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're gonna get us all killed. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried, but there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it, everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't, but you can. Isaac, 
If I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole. Sounds perfectly reasonable. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Oh my god, that's a scary jump scare. Uh, Isaac, be careful. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. Go for the limbs. Dismember them. Yeah. That should do the job. I played it before. I know. Okay, we're gonna pick up the stasis module over here, and we're gonna freeze this. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we've got a stasis pack, so can we feel our stasis? Oh no, that's the very scary jump scare. Alright, so uh Your stasis module should be able to help you with that arm mechanism. Yep, we got a power node, you can use this at the bench, I don't think I need it, but it's worth having it, I guess. Uh, uh, what's the first first one here? The first one's gonna be right here. Oh god, Necromorph. Anyway. Yeah, you just do that and we move on. Oh, never mind, we have to stand by for more intense battles. The tram is blocking the whole system. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. What could it be? Up oh, there you are. <laughs> Where are you? What's the next Necromorph? No will. As I expected. Now let me out. Dang. Sounds very violent. Alright, what's the next Necromorph? It's coming down here. What? Where? Up there you are. How do I kill you? I want to stop you to death. Okay, fine. Take the shot. Alright, thank you, ma'am. I have to keep checking so I don't make sure I don't get lost. Ugh. <laughs> that was an actual jump scale. I don't think that happened in the first playthrough I did, but... Okay, got a medium health pack and some more ammo. And an audio log over here. This is Benson, Tram Engineering. We think we figured it out. Smith killed one. Listen. Forget about shooting him in the body. You gotta cut off the limbs. Grab a cutter, anything like that. Cut him apart. Isaac, it's Kendra. It looks like the door to the storage room is locked. There should be a key somewhere in the maintenance bay. Okay, so we have to find a key to the maintenance bay now. I mean, not a key to the maintenance bay itself, but uh, a key to the storage room. I have to shoot because you cannot be too sure they were actually dead.
Oh my god, get in, get in, get in. Oh god, it's still alive. Ah! Oh, let's go down. Let's get down here. Go, go, go. Yep, called it. Yep, there's the key. And I think, is that an audio log of some sort? A text log. I don't care. You have to just stop and reload. You can't run and reload like you do in the future games. How much credits do I have? A bit. <laughs> Try sucker. And over here is a bench you can use this to upgrade your weapons. As it says, so uh, here's an example. I'll show you the um, plasma cutter I have upgraded. It's like a weapon I'm going to be using this gameplay, by the way. Yeah, it's fully upgraded, like that. Uh, the wig it has not been upgraded. I don't really intend to. I don't really see it as necessary, but you know, it's there if you need it. And uh, stasis module, you can upgrade that, that as well. I guess I've upgraded it before or something. Maybe I'll just upgrade it a bit. Maybe. Come to think of it, it might be a little necessary because uh. There's going to be a lot of places where it will take a little bit to get through the air parts. Alright, so my wig's upgraded. And now we just uh, get the whatever we need. Yeah, the data board. That's it, Isaac. Take the board back to tram control and slot it into the computer array. That should get the tram system back online. Die! Oh my god, die, Necromorph. Thank you, Jesus. You stubborn motherfucker. I could have saved all those nodes up and just used it for uh, selling them at the store, but. Eh. Going down now. Going up actually. To take the day bird to the tram and repair it. Oh, the Don't jump scummy like that. Just making sure I'm not completely stupid. <laughs> Quarantine just lifted. Whatever was in the flight lounge must have left. That's lucky for us. Isaac, get back to the Kellyon and prep it for launch. We'll find out what we can from the bridge and meet you there. If we live that long, you're out of your league, Hammond. This is suicide. We're going your to die out here. Your lack of confidence in me is really noted, Miss Daniels. But I have a mission to complete, and that's exactly what I am going to do, with or without you. Do we understand each other? Just get us out of here alive. No problem, Kendra. Uh, so we're just gonna have to go back and uh, get into the ship. Oh 
Oh, that's weird. I think that guy that died earlier is gone. I wonder where he could be. There it is. Hey, come back here. I want to kill you. Can I kill you, please? Take that, motherfucker. Oh, I think there's another one behind the corner. Yep. I was right. Anyway. Back at a flight lounge. We're gonna go to the ship. And we can get out here alive. Can I not get out of here? Oh. Wait. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me out of here alive. What? Oh, that's the way. Okay, I thought that was the way. <laughs> uh. Anyway. Leave me alone, I need to... Oh no, a ship! Oh, that sucks! Good. There's an executive lockdown of all primary systems. Without the captain's authorization, I can't access them. Well, where's the captain? Here he is. Captain Benjamin Mathias. Location? Med lab. Status? Deceased. What? How? I can't access that information. Find the captain and you'll find his rig. With his authorization codes, I can crack this computer wide open. Damn it. Isaac, I'm sending the tram back to your location. Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. What was that? Oh. All right, so the ship has crashed and uh, we'll separate from the, our, the rest of our crew temporarily. Now we can go through here. There we go. Here's our tram. Alright, let's see if I can find the elite suit. I think that's gonna help me a lot. Um, yep, level 6 suit. Which is down around here. No, it's not. What? Oh, okay, there's no elite suit here. That's kind of strange. Hmm, 
I guess it's actually around in here somewhere. Okay, I'm kind of puzzled. I guess I have it on already? Oh, I have to probably have enough credits. Okay, um, that's, that was a little silly of me. Uh, anyway. Let's see, any credits, anything? Nope. Well, in that case, I think we're ready to head out. Alright, so that was uh, chapter one of Dead Space. We're going to continue on in the next couple of months with this game. Thank you all for watching this one, I'll s and I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you around. Hello everyone, this is Hugo. I hope your September has been very good. It's been good for me too. Um, as you can tell, I've been taking a bit of a step back from the Hugbox TGM channel, and instead I've been producing content for the iMolly channel. Um, if you don't know what, know what the iMolly channel is, it's just a channel I use to post old, just post any old stuff, I guess. Um, just some reviews, some retrospectives, some whatever I feel like making. I've been posting more on the iMolly channel that I've been posting on here. If you want to go check out the iMolly channel, then I'll link it down in the description. Here's a few sneak peeks of the videos I've been producing for the iMolly channel this month. Here's some, some of the goodies. As you can see right off the bat, we have a older promo for Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. The fast selling hedge, and here it comes to a live on video. And uh, here's some buy any Sonic video, you can get a Sonic Quest win for only $6. Or uh, play anywhere, a $19.99 value. Um, look for the Super Sonic offer at a store near you beginning June 10th, 1994. I sure will. Uh, offer good on these Atomic Sonic videos now. And some other stuff right here. Melon off are good from 6 7 to 8 31 94. I have to get going very soon on this then. Uh, <laughs> uh, here's a cool thing. Uh, as Sonic's interesting computers, there's introducing a new computer magazine created for the entire family. Um, free issue. How do I get this free issue? It doesn't tell me. It just doesn't tell me. God dang it. Oh, hi. Hi, Steve. You're just in time. Blue and I were working on our word books. Oh, really? You want to help? No. Great. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> hey, Blue. Do you want to hear my story? I mean, I just made it up from the words we collected, so it's, you know. Okay, here goes. Okay, here we go. I have a friend whose name is Blue. Oh. She's cute. Oh. And little. And loves oh. me too. Oh. Nice. Did you like it? No. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh. Right, Blue. We still have to find words for your word book. So you can make up really cool stories. Yeah. Like me. I'll help you, Blue. I'll help you get some words. All right, then. Let me take that call. I'll be right over here. Reading... A really there you are. Well, welcome to math class. Why, well, hello there, old boy. Welcome to math class. That's what I said. Uh, you're quick. <sighs> Molly goes to the ghost tape. What? Huh? I forgot. Did I put that? Huh? Hold on a second. What? Wait, did I put that down there? Molly goes to the girls' table. It's what? Did I, I don't remember putting that in there. What? Hold on. Anyway. Oh wait, we're going right back, guys. Uh, stands on his table. Let's meet Molly. He what a generic city name. F huh? Flexington. To, I, I thought I, there's, not, there's not really any strategy. You just have to shoot, and that's it. All right, so here I am, suited with my new pistol now. No one's taking me. Meanwhile, I wonder if I could get this sooner. Hopefully, uh, okay. We're on level three. Let's just go. We're on the, an outdoor level, and I figured, and I realized uh, playing this before, I, there's actually a cool trick. Just, uh... Okay, I guess you can't jump. Oh, no, you can. I just can't, you can't crouch jump, that's all. 
Let's just do this and. <laughs> the game will crash. God dang. Uh, I was getting kind of tired of that game anyway. Uh, just. If you want to play, it's not as bad as the police, so I'll link it down in the description. Just go and play it. Uh...